Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Mozilla Firefox error that says that the web page timed out, the server took too long to respond. So, this should be a fairly quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So, we're going to start by opening up the star menu and you want to type in command prompt. Best match should say command prompt directly above desktop app on Windows 10 devices. Windows 7 and Windows 8 should just say command prompt here. You want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. So now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in IP config. So one word, IP config, space, forward slash release. So R E L E A S E, all attached to that forward slash we typed in right before it. And then you want to hit enter. Now that you've done that, you want to type in IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Again, flush DNS should all be attached to that forward slash IP config, same spelling as before. Go ahead and hit enter. Should say successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Now that you've done that, you want to type in IP config space forward slash renew so renew all one word right attached to that forward slash and again like the other ones there's a space in between IP config and the forward slash hit enter give it a second this will take a moment here so just be patient this one command and then once that is done you kinda see some Ethernet information listed here you wanna type in NET SH space INT space IP space set DNS all these words should have a space in between them so the NETSH the int the IP the set and the DNS then you want to hit enter once you're done doing that you want to type in NETSH space WinSock space reset hit enter it should say successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. So I'd recommend you close out of here and let's restart our computer. Okay, so I'm going to sign into my computer here. Okay, so once we are logged back into Windows, you want to head back to the Start button by left clicking on it one time. And now you want to type in Network. Underneath Best Match, it's a Network Proxy setting for above System Settings. You want to left click on that. On Windows 10, you want to go up to the Ethernet tab or Wi-Fi if you're using Wi-Fi. And you want to change adapter options. So you can get through this through the control panel as well. You want to go underneath control panel, network and internet, and then network connections. You're welcome to do that. However, since it looks like Microsoft is depreciating the control panel in the future, I'd recommend just going through the settings window here and you want to right click on whatever your network connection is here it probably won't say Ethernet, it might say Wi-Fi, it's perfectly fine you want to right click on it and then select properties 
Then you want to left click on where it says Internet Protocol version 4 TCP slash IPv4. So left click on that and then you want to left click on the properties button down here. Now underneath where it says use the following DNS server address right down here. You want to select and type in 8 and then using your mouse you want to click in the second area, type another 8, click in the third area, type another 8 and then one more 8. For alternate DNS server you want to do 8.8.4.4. If anybody's curious, this is Google's own public DNS server, so it's safe. It's not just some weird DNS server, just want to put that out there. So I also would recommend that you check mark inside the box to validate settings upon exit. Click on OK, click close, and I would recommend that you do restart your computer after you are done with this, and then attempt to resume whatever you were doing beforehand, and hopefully the problem has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. And as always, I look forward to catching you all in the next video. And if we try opening up Firefox out of curiosity, just to show you guys we still have internet here, we can see we have Google and if we try and do a Google search, we can see we are good, we have internet. So I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.